Yo, 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 chatty chatters. Welcome back, everybody, to the store. Welcome back to Supermarket Simulator. Hell yeah. Game's been getting a lot of great reviews, been loving playing it, and it's a good time. So welcome aboard. You trying to buy UHT milk? Oh, God. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Alright, welcome back everybody. Good to see you all here. One's in the chat if you're watching live. One's in the chat if you're locked in. One's in the chat if you're ready to go. Uh, let's get ready to go. Here we go. Ah, very nice. You know, I'll be excited for this game when there's a few extra features added to it. Like, on the right side, uh, we see that they're going to eventually allow for uh, storage shelves from boxes. That's going to make it a lot easier to actually store stuff in that storeroom. Like, right now we can buy a storeroom, but the fact that we can't store, like bulk items in like like in a warehouse format is kind of annoying otherwise we store stuff literally in front of the uh in front of the supermarket all right let's end the day see how much we made from the end of our last stream it was plus wow 1115 dollars Jeez, that's a lot wow and i don't even know if we paid our loan back let's uh, check that out oh oh good staff paid automatically cool i guess the automatic payment of stuff is totally fine with me all right, let's fire up the store. Welcome to the store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's uh, put some stuff on the shelves. You. I know you guys are mad about all the messes that I leave in the store. I know. I wish I could be cleaner too. I, I wish we actually had like a door here to just go into a room and then bring stuff out when when we needed to put it on the shelves. Uh, I got the storage room. It's useless unless you want to throw. Uh. Oh, toilet paper and potatoes in there. Oh, really? Yeah. Because if we had a storage room where we could actually put, like, instead of these being individual boxes, imagine if we could put a whole box of stuff. Like, if we put, I don't know, let's say this has 10 in there. We could put, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, just on, like, one, like, column. And then, you know, if we did it twice, it'd be nice. Anyway, yeah, this game's got a lot of good potential, though. Like, for everybody enjoying it as it is now... And missing a lot of stuff that kind of would be more convenient. It's certainly something uh, I want to keep playing. We love these games. We love them. They're fun. Kebab Simulator. It looks like we're getting more of these games that are fun. Seems like people like them. I enjoy liking games, chat. How about you? No, I hate games. Hate them. Let's see. You want a Rap Mart uh, frequent customer card? Mm hmm. Well, some of you who are members, I guess. If you got that uh, beautiful badge or logo next to your name, mm hmm. Then you are a member of the member, member mart. That's what it is. Me members only members mart. Hey, you got to be a member to go to Costco, right? You got to be a member only to shop at member mart. Mm hmm. Twitch subs, YouTube members, see, John, just renewing his member card for seven months as a member to Member Mart. Thank you very much, John. All right, let's see if we can throw some more cheese. No. That was what we were working towards, though, is trying to get more cheese and stuff. I do want to expand the re uh, the uh, store, but we got to have more money to do it. I got to expand, and then I got to be able to buy a license, and then I got to be able to buy shelf space. But we'll see how today goes, just as is. We'll just make some more cash. Yo, know, Watchtower, thank you for the 30 months as a member. Appreciate that. Welcome to Member Mart, home of the members. Thanks for clicking and tapping and join, and we're subbing on Twitch. Appreciate the support. All right, let's go with chocolate. Oh, there it is. Good. Cool. And then we could get some candy. Do we need to restock everything? Or are we kind of good? Maybe we're kind of good. And we should get some more coffee. What about the juice? Oh, we need soda. Coffee and soda. Coffee and soda. Yeah, we'll do one.
And we'll do one coffee as well. Cha-ching! Cha-ching. How much is the subscription? Well, um, on YouTube, you can become a member for 99 pennies for 30 days. So I don't know what that comes out to, like, a, I don't know, a fifth of a penny? Uh, you run the math. I guess it depends on the month, but... On Twitch, it's uh, five bucks for a subscription, and or you can, if you have Twitch Prime, like if you or if you have Amazon Prime, you can set up Twitch Prime and then spend your Twitch Prime sub over on Twitch as well if you want to. So if you're like, hey man, this guy's kind of goofy, but I guess I'll, I guess I want those emotes or something, uh, feel welcome. No pressure though. One of those, uh, you know, join now, become a member, and enjoy, cancel anytime. No hard feelings, you know, things are, everybody's busy, times are tough, but also people really want to support, so the option is there if you want to. It's all cool. Also, more importantly, we do have a lot of people who like to drop uh, gift bombs in the community. So, best case scenario, exclamation point, gift, and you never know. It seems like, I mean, just the way it happens, every stream somebody's dropping some sort of membership, so enjoy, and make sure you thank them. We got some nice folks who always like to do that. You know who you are, and I know who you are too. So thank you. Yeah, hell yeah, we're gonna need some oil. You're right. We're gonna need. Uh, actually, I think we need we need a lot of oil because they buy uh, a lot of it, and it's kind of like they don't put too much on the shelf. It's like like somebody comes through with a ruler and makes sure there's like three centimeters of space between each item. Like this. Like it's perfectly set up. Oop. How was my UHT milk break? Oh, man. I've been working on some other projects recently. I didn't get a chance to go to the store. Maybe, maybe tonight I'll do a UHT milk run. We shall see. Yeah, exactly. One box is one section when it comes to oil. Mm hmm. Like one box of olive oil takes up one whole shelf. What did I think about Solf 1.0? Is it some sort of version of Golf? Wait, S O T. S O T F. Oh, Sons of the Forest. Oh, oh. Uh, good. Uh, last night, well, unfortunately, Dirty was having problems. His game was crashing, and Red was having problems with Steam, and then his power went out. So it was it was like that game, or rather, like otherworldly forces didn't want me, Dirty, and Red to play. Yet, despite all the problems that we had, not the game, but that we were having, like playing with each other, like because of the connection and stuff, that was probably the most fun I've had in Sons of the Forest, and I don't even know why. Like, we played that game a lot. We played that game in Early Access. We played that game, um, you know, like when there was updates for power and we got solar panels and stuff. And we played it last night. I was like, damn, that was a lot of fun. I wanted to play it again, but since they were having so much issue, like, I don't want to I don't want to play our game, but without them. You know what I mean? Like, we started it together, so I don't want to, like, play more and not let them experience it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like that'd be fun for them. Yeah, the shark. Oh, yeah, the shark. Ah, it's all right. You know, all's well that ends well. Look, if I complain at the time, but then it ends okay, then I kind of, I forgive a lot of stuff. I, I, sometimes I can be like, that's not right. I don't like that. I do that about a lot of stuff. But I also know how life works. It's like, for example, when we played uh, Expeditions Mud Runner earlier today, and there was like, oh, why is it like this? This is so stupid. But I still enjoyed my time. I could complain and have a good time. Okay, we should probably buy a lot. Okay, shampoo, soap, but we also need to buy a lot of potatoes. Per people, potato. They they love the potatoes. Potato. Let's order some brown boar. We're gonna buy like four of those. Actually, maybe those will end up being like uh, toilet paper. Maybe we should just do a fat stack. Now everybody tells me the the storage room's kind of a waste of money because it doesn't it doesn't work the way you think it would work. And it's a thousand bucks, and it's like that's a lot of money. It's a lot of money, man. I'm looking forward to the update though. I'm sure there'll be many updates for this one. 
I also want to play Big Ambitions again, which is kind of like this, but top down. It's like playing the original Grand Theft Autos when you drive around. It's crazy. Are you French? French always complain. I could out complain Alex. He's been defeated in battle. Dude, I defeated Alex so hard in a complaint once that he literally went to an island for like two or three years. There's only one other person I remember who, when they were defeated, were banished to an island for a few years. That's how bad he got his ass beat. Yeah, hood babies, exactly. What's up, Trevor? Welcome aboard. Potato. Potato. A shampoo and hand soap. The Mark, welcome aboard. You want a UHT emote? Well, first we got to get our Ryan Reynolds emote. And I know I've been doing like a lot of talk about it. Um, and it'd be pretty easy to do. We got to set a member goal to just watch Ryan Reynolds, like Mint Mobile commercials. We should do that. We'll set a member's goal for that. We'll uh, be doing Red Dead Redemption this year. 100% it's going to happen. I'm going to make it happen. It's going to be a good year for members. It's going to be the big the big year for members. Also, there's a lot of good games coming out, so don't be surprised if some things continue to get pushed back. But we've had a lot of great games. Pacific Drive. And then games like this just come out of nowhere. And everyone's like, dude, you should play this a grocery store simulator. I'm like, dude, I'm, not, I'm never going to play. Oh, here we are. Or Parkitect, like when we got stunlocked into Parkitect for like a month and a half. And by we, I mean me. I dragged my friends into it, but they liked it too. Any membership or what level? I mean, you can get whatever level you want. Uh, there's more perks for higher levels and stuff on YouTube, but, uh, you know. You could you could start at Raptor Ultimate and work your way up to Sigma Apex tier if you want to, you know. No no shame in that. And you never have to cancel either. You can just turn you can just turn things down or move it around or turn it up. Turn it up. Yeah. Turn it up. Uh uh. Okay, yeah, let's see. Peanut butter's good. Salt's probably fine, but yeah, let's buy some more salt. I just won. Uh, eh. eh, let it ride. Let's go. Roll them dice. Let's see what happens. We're open. Let's go, baby. Yeah. We'll be in our perch now, waiting. Oh, also we just hit level 23. So, what else do we unlock? What do we need for like a fourth employee, or third employee? Level 30. Yeah. The thing that we uh, thought too, by the way, is kind of confirmed as well, where like the, uh, the store can only have so many people in it at a time. So the faster we can get people out of the store, the... Uh you know, the more people that come through in a day. So that's more money. Money is good. Perch of the all-seeing, uh, uh, the all-seeing manager, yeah. Yeah, we got Men in Black shopping in here. Tommy Lee Jones swinging by. Although that guy has a red tie. Man, look at these people going crazy for cereal. Oh my god, they're going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Look at this. Ma'am, jeez. 
Control yourself. Expand for more checkouts? Oh yeah, eventually. We need $4,000 to expand. So we can't can't do any more expanding for a while. And I think we took out a loan. We gotta pay back that loan too. No, random boxes on the floor don't affect anything at the moment. But I think what will happen is in the future when they update it, if the customers see that, they'll be mad. They want, They don't want to see that. But what will happen is the game will give us a storeroom. Like, we can buy the storeroom over here, but it doesn't really work well. There's a storeroom, but it's kind of meh. So, I feel like it's just, you burn a thousand dollars and nothing really happens. But in the future, they'll they'll be happy with it. We're going we're gonna to make this place nice. We got to think like a company chat. We got to do the absolute bare minimum unless it affects our bottom line financially. Like if people aren't buying stuff. Or PR. Like let's just say we have a burger place, right? And what we want to do is we sell burgers at a typical price. But what we start to do is we use algorithms and other shady business in order to keep an eye on our customers. And then we do what was called, uh, you know, price surging whenever the customers are the hungriest. Whenever people, w we, we keep the prices low, but whenever the people come on in, uh, we immediately jack up the price and we charge them more to enhance our bottom line. But if they happen to listen to one of our earnings calls and the, the pores, the riffraffs, the the commoners, the bottom feeders, find out about our plan, we'll have to do a black and white text. Here it's such and such corporation we care. Sorry we mix, missed the mark. And then uh, hope that it goes away. Like how Unity hopes that you forget that uh, they tried to screw over all the uh, small creators and stuff and small companies that were making games. Black background, white text, we missed the mark. Hopefully they forget about it and then we try to screw them over again in a different way in the future. We'll do a little little lighter screwing but uh, you know we'll, we'll do a double we'll do a double light screw and then we got to do one more to make up for the progress in which we missed during the initial try trying to screw them over and that's how it goes welcome to business bend over that's how it goes not always but we're talking about the big guys who are just like all right we we own nine thousand percent of the market how do we make it a billion percent it's like we can't do all right you're fired Always has to be always more. No sustainability. That's too scary. God, could you imagine going without and just like settling and being satisfied for what you have? Disgusting. What is this, Europe? Disgusting. I'm teasing. We're just here for all fun. We're just here for a good time, Chad. I'm being too serious. My bad. I used to think I'd never play top-down games once I tried Train Home after watching Raptor play. I f feel like I've been playing more of them. Oh, good! That's awesome, dude! Yeah, Last Train Home, Last Train Home, a great game. Top-down RTS and, like, management, like, City, um, like Frostpunk. But yeah, City Skylines, great top-down. Lots of great top-down games. There's a demo for a really cool game, I think, uh, I want, uh, here, uh, real quick, just, just real quick, guys. There's a really neat demo for this game. That I'm really excited about. I know it, it's it's dumb and it's a game for me, but this game, it's called Metropolis 1998. It's basically The Sims 1, but it looks like Open TTD, but it plays like City uh, Sim City or City Skylines. So it looks like this. It, it's designed to look like an older game, like Open TTD or the original Sim City, but the dev has made it so that way you can design the interior of every single building. You can customize all the rooms, everything. So you build the roads, you can build the houses, you can build the rooms inside of those, and it looks like a lot of fun. And it's got a free demo. So there's a free demo for Metropolis 1998. Might not be your cup of tea based on how it looks, but I love these types of games. This person literally built like four office buildings and then like a skyway to connect them. So it's neat. It's upcoming, it's a little personal project that they're working on, but it's one where anytime I see it, I'm like, oh my God, I love this. I don't know why. I just, I just I just like it. That's it. That's just the way it be. And you can't really beat free. 
And if it's not your thing, then you're just like, oh, that was cool. Like, th thanks for the free demo. It's like when you, I, I feel like free demos on Steam are like Costco, you know, samples. Like if someone hands you something, you're like, eh, not really for me. At least, eh, you know, at least you got to eat something, you know? Like I was at a grocery store once walking around and they handed me like a little, a bottle of cherry flavored water. And I'm like, this is, this is dumb. It was good and I didn't buy the product and I don't remember it. But I remember that it, it was nice and the person was nice. And I was just like, oh, that's nice. Yeah, it was just a nice experience. Like I remember that experience. It was cool. But it's not something I wanted to buy or would continuously buy. You know? Yeah, we need gum at the checkouts. We need gum and mints and uh, magazines and stuff. Yeah, for sure. Do I think they'll add shopping carts to the game? Probably not, because that kind of it's that'd be a lot to program for pathing and for the. Because think about how big of a building you would have to buy just to get it so people could push carts down the aisles. That's a lot of work. Not only for you, but also for the developer too. It's possible though that they could do that. It's possible. And I really wish we could take out more than one box at a time. Potatoes are low. We've got a critical potato alert. Oh, what, what about chickens? Chickens, okay. Oh, more. Chicken alert. Chickens are out. Potatoes. Potato, we need potato. And they love those potatoes. And the game is awesome, yeah. Yeah, I want everyone to try it out and just tell me what they think. Be like, dude, I don't really like games like that. I'm like, all right, fair. That's my evil plan, chat. For the longest time, people were just like, dude, you like everything you play. And I was like, no, I don't. But I found out, yeah, they're right, actually. I, I do like all the games that I play. I don't love them all. I don't think they're all great. But I do like playing the games and having the experience. Even if it's a really bad game and you guys laugh at me and it's just broken, we get a good experience. So it's a little different streaming a game and hanging out with you guys than like uh, highly anticipating a game, paying 70 bucks, and then finding out it's a turd alone, you know. But if I buy a $70 game and it turns out it's not great and I stream it for you guys and I'm like, oh, this is fun. And then eventually, I don't know, maybe my mind changes. You know. It's whatever. I also feel like... Um, I don't think I'm impartial to things where it's like my mood at the time might have changed. It might affect. I, I don't think I can remove that very easily. Where like if I'm, I don't know. If I'm having a bad day and things are just bad, then maybe I won't enjoy a game as much. Oh, maybe I will. Maybe I'll enjoy it more. I don't know. It's like when you haven't had lasagna in a while. I make this analogy all the time, but it's like sometimes if you haven't had pizza or lasagna for a while. It just tastes better. You didn't do anything different. Maybe you went to your same pizza place that you always go to or made something that you usually make and then it just hits different. It just depends. Sometimes you're grumpy, but we love you anyway. True. It's true. Oh, yes. Chinatown Detective Agency. Yes. Oh, chat, remind me. We should play that this year. Chinatown, Red Dead, and uh, UHT Milk. Those are the things you can look forward to to your Raptor membership here on the channel. <laughs> How does that sound convincing in any way, shape, or form? Wow, they, they bought all the cleaner? All right, we can't buy anything new. Wow, we ran out of cleaner. I tried to restock that stuff. Wow. Okay, we had nothing there, so that doesn't matter. Holy crap. Django, thank you very much for the $3, dude. Appreciate that very much. Thank you very much. Okay, well, let's end our day. Oh, only, uh, only four products not found. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Alright, let's start our next day. Uh, Mon Evenstar? Has just dropped five gifted memberships for the channel? What is this? Mon. When I watched your uh, stream the other day for uh, Sons of the Forest, 
You mentioned something about having a go-kart. I, I don't know. I heard go-kart, but I didn't really think about it. Me and the boys found, like, two go uh, golf carts. Well, whatever. They, we turned them into a go-kart, regardless. We found them yesterday, and I was like, oh, my God. That's what she was talking about. Oh, my God. And we, um, yeah, those are, those are fun to drive. Absolute shenanigans on yesterday's stream. I hope, I hope they have time to play that again. I really do. I really do. Okay. Oh, hand soap. Oh, man, we got a lot of stuff to refill. Shikling into Shikling. Yeah, vla. Uh, okay. Oh, we need flour, too. Okay. All right, all right, let's do our usual rounds. We'll start in the front of the store. What are we buying? We'll buy... One box of cereal, one one box of everything, but the purple's two. So anyway, thank you very much, uh, Mon, for the five. Appreciate it. Uh, did you have any golf cart races? Yeah, basically, it feels like that, like you're racing. Oh, Brett. I wrote Brett. Okay, we'll start with that aisle. You think I drove better in Pacific Drive? Dude, Pacific Drive was just training for Sons of the Forest. But yes, those uh, golf carts are uh, quite the drive. Hey, but I hit a deer, though. It was funny. You liked it. Don't lie. Also, Pacific Drive, amazing game. Can't, can't recommend it enough. Another one of my evil plans is for all of you to buy that game, play it, and enjoy it. Oh, I just have a good time playing games, so I, I always hope that everyone has the same experience, too. Like, you know, mileage may vary on everything that people recommend to you or play or buy. But my hopes are always that you'll just, you know, try before you buy, and then I hope it's the best thing ever. Regardless, you can always let me just take care of the gaming and just enjoy watching. Oh, yeah, the squeaky rabbit. Oh, my God. I hit a rabbit, too, and I was like... Yeah. I'm sure... Uh, I'm sure... Morgan made a clip of that one. Somebody did. You just played Quake 2, Back to the Roots. No way. Wow. Man, there's nothing wrong with those old games at all, either. How many people are, like, on playing Team Fortress 2 right now on Steam? Like, the golden... What about the golden Steam era games? Like, Half-Life 2, Left 4 Dead, like, 1 and 2, Team Fortress. There's got to be over, like, probably a million people a month who play those games. Yep. Do I think shopping baskets will be added to the game? That'd be a cool upgrade. A little upgrade to make people buy a little bit more because they can carry more. That's smart. Yeah, I want there to be a lot more uh, little upgrades to work up to. I think we do things like sushi in the game. and uh, There's a few things that I've seen, but I'm not sure if they... How, how to get them yet. Age of Empires, the first one? Hell yeah. Yep, nothing wrong with going back to those games. Nothing wrong. Although I will say, they're never as good as you remember them, but they're still... Like, I really want to go back. Lazy Game Review, LGR, did a video recently on SimCity 3000. And I remember playing SimCity 2000, 3000, and 4. And I can't wait to see 
his other videos on SimCity 4 next, but, um, I mean, we played SimCity 4 here on the channel before, and I'm like, man, this game is good. SimCity 4 is great. And same with, and now I want to play SimCity 3. Thousand. Be good. What are my goals in the game today? Oh, we just got to make a bunch of money and pay back our loan, and then make even more money and expand the store. I think we want to do expansions first, but if we're going to do that, we got to make sure we can afford it, so we need money. So we're just going to climb the ladder a little bit. Okay, let's buy, uh, wait, no, no, no. Don't get distracted, do it little by little. Okay, we want pasta next. There we go. Let's mix up our music a bit. Let's, let's pick some different tunes here. Let's go for something else. What do we got? Let's do... How about this? Try that. Probably gonna be the same exact music. All right, we want red pasta. Cakes. UHT milk. Oh, thanks, Caleb. Thanks for watching, dude. What did I say? Oh, yeah, pasta. Cakes. Uh, milk. We'll start with five. And we need to buy candies and stuff next. Anyone old enough to remember War Song for Sega? Yeah, that and Golden Axe and Actually I think didn't Genesis like or Sega like maybe within the last five years or so? Didn't they have like that remember when Nintendo made like the Nintendo Mini and Genesis did the same too and they packed it with like Sonic one through three and like Golden Axe a bunch of great classics. I think there was even like Street Hoops on. I don't know how old Street Hoops is, but I'm pretty. There was a there were some popular basketball games on Genesis too, which were a lot of fun. Oh, we had more cakes here. Trying to empty the box, but can't do it. Okay, candy and chocolate. Oh, Sega Classics is on Steam. Okay. Got chocolate. Oh, I forgot the pasta. Loading dock in this game. Now, that would be cool. Yeah, to have a loading dock to accept deliveries and stuff would be really neat. I'd love to see that. I think there's more of a Brooklyn style game though, like New York, how uh, a lot of things in New York are delivered to the front of a building or like a side entrance, but it's usually on the street. You like the music I choose? Oh, I go to YouTube and just type in DMCA free chill wave and then hope that it's not a lie. I haven't burned yet, been, uh, burned yet, but it'll it'll happen. Oh, chill lo-fi is pretty much like its own genre. What I think happens is these uh, channels will make like a hundred songs, and then they'll make like ten-hour mixes of them, and then they'll mix and match different songs. So you'll hear some of the you'll hear some of the same songs over and over, but they're remixed a little bit, so it's... Eh, it's okay. But it's better than just nothing. Me yapping only goes so far. Uh, oh, let's get some more milk. He needs some milk! I do, yes. He needs some milk. Oh, they don't have it, damn it. Alright, well, we'll just do the UHT milk then.
Oh, you want to be able to add your own music in the Well, I guess you could, um, like, just listen to Spotify in the background, you know? Like, you could just have your own tab open. What I really want, though, is to be able to have our own TV in the game, where you could, like... It'd be cool if you could go up to the TV, open a little window, like, tab out, go to, like, a YouTube... Like, you could put on, like, uh, ev every season of Angry Video Game Nerd ever, plug in that... Uh, URL and then AVGN would be playing while you're working in your store like while you're stocking all the shelves and organizing stuff You could be listening to uh, you know Kyle Justin's gonna take you back to the past You know good stuff uh, We got to start here now Reese eh, We're good on that. Oh, yeah, all right. We'll do the sodas again. Like they had in Pumping Sim 2. Is that in Pumping Simulator 2? I haven't played that yet. I know that was in a game called um, Trader Life Sim. And I think there was even maybe like a second one. But uh, you, you, you want live C-SPAN coverage in store? Really? All right. Let's take a field trip. Take it a field trip, chat. Everybody on the bus. Permission slips out. Let's go. Let's check it out. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on, everybody. Let's see. House There's not, not even any video here. Bro, these guys have 1.3 million subs? Hold on, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm, look, look at, look at C-SPAN's site, bro. You guys have some bad thumbnails, dude. They need to work on their thumbnail game. These are so boring. They need to come up with better titles, too, like... Uh, the U.S. government and this happened. Ten things I wish I knew earlier before becoming an American citizen. <laughs> Why don't they do things like that? C-SPAN's game is weak. Yeah, that's, that's weak. C-SPAN, uh, call me. I'll, I'll help you out. I'll help you out with the, like, like we'll do, we'll we'll get that thumbnail game up. Like you got, you guys got to step it up. Their streams got. I, wait a minute. Does C-SPAN have member streams? Hold on. Can you become a member of the C-SPAN channel? No. See, they got to turn on. Oh my God! No effing way. C-SPAN has a store page. <laughs> Bro. Bro, these guys have a store page, but they don't have uh, members on? Come on. What do they got? What are they working with here? 600 million views? They joined in 05? Oh, it's the same with me. Damn, C-SPAN is kicking my ass. I might need to reach out. Damn it, the entire U.S. federal government is kicking my ass. Damn it. God, I need to step it up. All right, I'm, all right we're doing seven 10-hour streams a day. How many hours are in a day? We got to... I need more time. Damn it. Hindered at every turn. Damn you, U.S. federal government. They want my money and they're beating my ass in YouTube. God. It's over. I'm shutting the store down. I can't afford to <laughs> buy UHT milk at this rate. <laughs> Let me order some bleach. <laughs> because I need to put it on my shelves, okay? Because I'm trying to run this damn business. That's why I'm buying the, the bleach. For legal business purposes, all right? Everybody calm down. I'm just buying the bleach to put it on the shelves. Relax. Relax. YouTube. God. <laughs> Alright, now we gotta buy some cleaner. <laughs> this is the worst day of my life. This is the worst. Is this German sausage? Because this is the worst. <sighs> I bought another big box. I'll save that for later. I'll bring that home. Next to my bike. Here, that big ass box home. I don't even have a house. I can't wait for the house update in this game. It'll be cool to see if we can actually buy, like, <laughs> give ourselves a wage and then uh, buy furniture. Next game, YouTube Simulator. I mean, that is a game. We have played that before, and then I'll just tell chat how it really is. I don't know. C SPAN's good. I. I think the local government stuff, that's what it re that's where it really gets good. Because at this point, all anytime I see local government stuff, I just think uh, Parks and Rec every time. 
even if it's just like uh, the local finance department for uh, city services will be meeting with the, oh my god what's, what, I wonder what shenanigans go on Yeah, we need, you're right. We need propane tanks. We need charcoal out front, firewood, maybe some Christmas trees around the holidays. Like this store, look at all that wasted space of marketing and advertisement. Like the whole front of this store could be just jam-packed with uh, pat uh, fur patio furniture. Um, yeah, the, the propane thing, the ice box, right? They need a rehaul on their social media department. Yeah. Yeah, chat, maybe that's what I should do is just shut my channel down and go work for C-SPAN. Just be the C-SPAN guy. Like, we need to get kids into that. Local and federal governments get them off Roblox and, uh, and uh, Fortnite. Guys, new merch drop, guys. Okay, let's get some sodas, chicken, <laughs> sodas and chicken. Great podcast name. Uh, I'll probably tell it better than they do. Shoda. Wait, this is 12 and this is 24? Why? I didn't realize there were different amounts of bottles in those boxes. Yet they come in the same size. What the hell is this? Does this one have more than that one? Oh my god. It Wait, what? They scammed me for a whole... Whoa, whoa. You guys could have fit way more in there. What the hell is this? What is that? A 4 by 3 Bro. These guys are scamming us for like half the bottles. Yeah, it'll be great. Oh, 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 oh yeah. C-SPAM will get Alex to report from uh, the, the halls of Congress. Inter interview people. But nobody that you actually know. It would be, if we did C-SPAM, we'd do it right. We would. It would be like, it'd essentially just be like The Office. That's what we really need, something like that. Yeah, no, we don't have any window ads going on. No ATM machine inside. No lottery tickets. Like, where's the good stuff? Yeah, we start the show with the Benny Hill theme. You're great. Do we need water? What's up, colonists? Welcome back, dude. What's the benefit of joining the Raptor family? Oh, if you want to become a member, you totally should. Like, it's a direct way to support the channel. So we can keep on trucking. Uh, but also through YouTube Premium, that happens as well. I really want there to be more benefits for you guys, though. I keep telling them, and they won't do it. You know, things where it's like, if you're if you're a member of a channel, I feel like you should never see ads again. But YouTube's like, nah, we want both. Well, of course you do, YouTube. I don't. Isn't, isn't there a point where, you know, everything's enough? No. More. I tried. It's hard to negotiate with a hungry bear. Did I order? No. 
Wow, from that one day, we're almost halfway to the next level. It's crazy. Oh, you want them to add cashier fridges? Yeah, like the little fridges that go near the cashier that have, like, soda. For sure, yeah, they could add a lot of that stuff. In fact, it'd be neat if we could actually upgrade each of the cashier stations to have different stuff going on somehow. It would be good. Strong Sassy Sadie, thank you very much for the 14 months. You're the best YouTuber out there. Thank you. Well, we got the best viewers, you guys. You guys are pretty awesome. So thanks for dropping by. And we got some great people we support and stream with, too, and... A lot of good channels out there. You guys just happen to be a part of one of them. Mm -hmm. I feel like we should put more green on display because we can only... Their boxes are smaller for whatever reason. But it's not like a bigger bottle of soda. It's like the game's acting like these are two liters or something. Maybe we'll do that one and then this one. Something like that. Happy Leap Day, everyone. Oh my god, it is. Wow. Okay. Um, we have potatoes on standby. Cheese looks okay. I guess we'll top off eggs and butter and chicken. Eggs, butter, chicken, and maybe fries. Yeah, I think that's good. It's great. Thanks again for the two, dude. Thanks for all you do, dude. Man, we should be able to fit so much more butter in there. Oh, we have butter there. Oh, that's right. I was going to put something here. Oh, yeah. We we're going to save this for a different type of milk. I think, right? No, that was for cheese. And eh, we got to expand these anyway. Okay, what's next? Chicken? Yeah, we'll do egg. Which one came first? Flieger, thank you very much for the uh, 29 months as a Raptor Plus. Of all the games you've been playing, keep up the good work, sir. Thank you. Hey, we got lucky, man. This year's been, I mean, the last couple of years of gaming, I mean, there's always some stinkers, but I, honestly, I think it's like we're getting like almost a, like a five to one. Like for every one bad game that comes out that everyone talks about, it's like there's five really good ones that everybody just kind of like enjoys to watch or to play. It's been a great year. Really great year. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I wish the storage in this game worked differently. I really did. Uh, I do. I know it's messy. We want to be nice and clean, but it's more advantageous and strategic to kind of just do it the way we're doing it. I know. The nug came first, yeah. Okay, um, more flour. I think that's the last of it, right? A lot of blue label, but not a red. Oh, we have soda here. Hmm. 
her. If a rooster laid an egg on the top of a peaked house, which way would it roll? Well, depends on if it's legal in that county, state and federal licensing, whether it's a free-ranged rooster or not. Roosters don't lay eggs, but there's still probably a law against it, or at least a fee. Um, I think we're good. Standing by. We open for the day. I guess we'll check bills. Standing by. What's for dinner tonight? I will have to figure that out soon. I got plans. Zeddy, thank you very much for becoming a Raptor Bear Cub. Welcome back. Good to see you in the chat again, too. And pick 2K8's first super chat with the $2. Just enjoying the content. Thank you very much. And thank you for your first super chat. Apparently, I can add a little heart to that, so I will do that. And I will do that for Screech as well. And also... Was there one earlier? Maybe there was. I don't want to miss anybody. Oh, Django from earlier, but it won't let me do it. I didn't, I didn't know I could tab out and do that. Oh, if I tab out, it freezes the game. Oh, better not do that. I don't want it to crash. You'd like to see seafood in the game. Oh, yeah. Uh, there might be. There might be fish and stuff. We'll have to see. Now, the game's good though, but you know, with good support, like I, I'd love to see UI updates. And but the the basics are here. Like the AI, the AI is not dumb. They'll go to like all the they go to the specific aisle to pick up a product. When they grab it, it disappears from the shelf. They go over to the register, and then little conveyors there, and things are put in the bags. And uh, it's it's pretty well done. Like the basics are here. Now let's get let's get advanced, baby. Let's go. You need to see this though. There we go. Okay, we're good. Game's good, man. Game's good. Red-Eyed Sniper with 48 months. How do you like this sim? Love the show. This is a good one. This is certainly one that uh, stands out amongst these life sims. But, you know, honestly, I think what we could do on the channel is play more of these. And if they're kind of like, if they're kind of like, eh, you know, that was fun, I guess. Uh, then we play it once or twice. But, you know, the bangers, like... <laughs> Gas Station Sim is probably the one that we play the most. In fact, when we hit a million subscribers, that's what we were playing when it happened. And so, uh, and it was like, I, and I want it to be like that for when we play uh, Pumping Sim, too. I hope we really enjoy that one as well.
Oh, you want to see period accurate grocery stores like the 50s and 60s? Yeah. And all the cars like parked diagonally out in front. Like there'd be a store and then like all the cars would be parked this way and Main Street would be like three times as wide. Mm-hmm. Reach with the five. Has anybody talked to you about your extended store warranty? Dude, you got to be up to like 50 or 60 super chats by now. YouTube should tell, like, say the exact number. Thank you, dude. Uh, no. Nobody's called me yet about the advanced, the extendo warranty. Okay. What do we got for stuff? Let's go do a little stocking in the shelves. And we'll put the boxes outside. And pick uh, 2K8. Thank you very much, dude, for the Raptor Egg membership. Enjoy your new emotes. Bam the heck out of them. Enjoy. Green eyes in the chat for all of our new members today. Chat is bopping with new members. Let's go. Thanks for all the memberships. Enjoy all the uh, new stuff you get with them. Now let's do this. Oh, I just needed two. Wish there was a trash can for inside the store. But no. You loving how chill this game is? Yeah, there's like some, you know, there's some busyness to it. And there is a lot to do. And it does, it's a busy game, but not stressful, really. It's like how I feel about, uh... It's how I feel about, like, Stardew Valley and stuff. Why does that not... Oh, that's milk. It's been so long since I restocked milk, I forgot what it looked like. I guess the white the white bottle with the... Uh, or the white carton with the cow in it, I guess, wasn't wasn't a dead enough giveaway. Ooh, they're, they're buying that milk. Chad, if we collect enough boxes, we will be able to build a cool fort. Oh man, are we out of potato again? Dude, that guy's buying up all the soap. Damn, dude, calm down. Dee deep. Dee deep. Dee deep. It's like a heart monitor in the hospital. Low chicken. Bro, they bought out all the chicken. Wow, dude. Local KFC must have went out of business and people are craving at home chicken. Keeping these boxes here to kind of get a visual representation of how much stuff we're actually flying through. Like how many boxes of things do we actually blow through in a day?
super focused business. You remember Supermarket Sweep? I know. I'll well, start throwing these away. Next time you're in line at the supermarket and you hear the beep, think of all the fun you could have on Supermarket Sweep. That show was legit. If you're not from the United States or if you don't remember the show, go look up Supermarket Sweep. Just people running around like dumping huge hams and like half wheels of cheese into a cart. Like Tammy, Ben, you guys have entered the inner octagon of supermarket greatness. If you guys are able to get over Ted and Brenda's $750, you guys will both be able to spend 22 minutes in Waukegan, Illinois. Let's see how you guys did. Oh, you got the green giant cutout. That gets you an extra $25. And you found the extra secret coupon. Oh my god, you guys have won. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, yeah, maybe maybe it was in the UK first, or maybe you guys had it. I only just know of it being a US show. Maybe it was I hope it was other places. That's that's applicable anywhere. Everybody's got a grocery store. It would have worked anywhere. Uh, yeah, every neighborhood. Yeah, we could have attracted three million cats by all those. Dude, we're donating to lo the local uh, cat culture or something. Dude, I've thrown out so many boxes, man. Okay, we need shikling. We have into shikling. Oak patat. Roll. They have a supermarket sweep channel on the Pluto app. Oh yeah, all those dude. Uh, you could. There's something about going back and watching old game shows and then old commercials from the 90s. I mean, that's all that was on during the summers, for me. You know, daytime television. Oh, it was, it was hard back then, chat. It was hard being younger. Times are easy now. <laughs> back when we were kids, that's when we got real work done. Wake up at 9:05, just in time to catch. Uh, Price is right. Have those Fruity Loops, Fruity Pebbles ready to go. Got to fire up the uh, Sega Genesis and beat the next Toe Jam and Earl level. Got to have your SpongeBob uh, mac and cheese by noon and get a haircut. It's going to be a tough day. I, I'll have to pencil it in somewhere between Transformers and Power Rangers, but we could probably make it work. Tough times back then. What am I gonna buy expansion? We need over four thousand dollars. We gotta make money, and we already ta we've taken out a loan, so we we just gotta keep we just gotta keep rolling. We'll get there. We just gotta trust the system. All right, let's go. End the day. Ooh, eight hundred and five bucks. All right. After all of our loans and stuff, that's good money. Thundercats. Yep, on an all new Thundercats. Hold on, let's see if we can. Take a little field trip again, chat. Take a little field trip. All right, everybody pile in. Permission slips out. Let's go. Don't kick the back of the seat. Apparently, Supermarket Sweep was around in 2022 as well. All right. All right, everybody on the bus. Here we go. I really hope he's going home today with... Two you got to have a name like Bob Winkleton or something to host a game show. There's got to be some sort of legal thing where you got to have a name like that. Hold on, I got I to watch the USA version. I, I think it's much more of a banger. I think we got you beat. Wow, there's a 19-minute episode? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, where's the thing where they run? He's finding out that all those pots and pans take up... It's fine. Refresh. It's fine. YouTube's mad. Fun is prohibited. You know this website. Everybody's, all right, everybody calm down. You're not allowed to have fun here. 
Just watch your shorts and everybody drop $500 super chats and become members and don't expect anything in return from the Megacorp. Uh, uh, what do we get? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, they don't they don't they don't want it. <laughs> uh hold on. No, nah, it's cool. YouTube's just being a turd. Dude, were you having fun? Did we catch you having fun with your audience? We can't allow that. Are we live or are they still being turds? Ah, whatever. Screw them. All right, everybody, come on over from YouTube. YouTube was mad that we were watching TV. I don't know how to get the stream reconnected, but they're being turds. You switched? Yeah. yeah, screw YouTube. Come on over here to Twitch. Bro, people do live reacts to TV content and stuff like that all the time. And pre-recorded stuff, so stop being so stingy about it. Jesus. It's a TV show from 20 years ago. Absolute turds. Anyway, I'm back. Okay, we can't watch that. YouTube got mad. I think Vicky cut off the stream. She was pissed. All right, anyway, we're back. So no more fun. We're not. This is the business only. I'm going to go get a suit on and a tie. This is the... Hold on. <clears throat> Everybody sit up straight, no fun allowed. Only the big, big, big boys are allowed to do live reacts and stuff. We can't do that here. No reliving childhoods. Everybody just needs to purchase and consume. No satire. Everything is professionalism. Everybody start start cutting checks to local multi-trillion dollar businesses and stop asking questions. Also, if that ever happens again, follow on Twitch. All right, anyway. But you know what we're going to do instead? We're going to listen to it, and they can F right off. I'm going to get my way. ...to be a contestant on Supermarket Sweep, and will be in the Los Angeles area. Call area code 213-960-24... Uh -huh. uh, Vicky and whatever her name went off to run a successful business, uh, dmca and YouTubers. All right, uh, let's go ahead and add more salt. YouTube's favorite ingredient, and then let's add some peanut butter, too. God, now I'm mad. My feelings are hurt. Jimmy's have been <laughs> rustled. Bro, people do this all the time on YouTube where they react to stuff. What? Look, I can understand movies, but come on. T TV show advertising products? Come on. They owe me. I want Tammy's $1,000. Oh, I also, speaking of dollars, missed somebody's super chat. My bad. I'm sorry. I was too busy being mad. <clears throat> uh, Flieger with the 20. That was literally the most fun I had in a long time. Thanks, Raptor. Yeah, thank you. And sorry, our our, our uh, bus, uh, the wheels got stolen. When we got back to the bus, we realized it was up on blocks, courtesy of mega corporations who needed the nine cents of ad time that we showed the show. Whatever. I'm over it. All right, let's do some cereal again. Where am I watching on YouTube? I mean, I just typed it in into YouTube, you know? What's hilarious, though, is that the video is up on YouTube on blocked. But if I stream that, it's got to shut me down. Like, what the hell? Like, I understand YouTube doesn't want people live streaming... Um, 
you know, movies and television. Uh, so my bad that I spoiled a show from 1990, the, before the fall of communism. All right, anyway. Will you be back on YouTube tonight? I don't get ads there. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, you, the YouTube stream's back. You're good. If you're watching on Twitch and you want to watch on YouTube, I'm back there. If you're on YouTube, uh, go follow where adults follow on Twitch. Because apparently YouTube can't let you watch a TV show from then. Isn't that weird? The video's on YouTube, but you can't watch a YouTube video on YouTube. Uh, then smash cut to, you know, in 24 hours, a YouTuber's going to say or do something dumb, and then all the other YouTubers are going to be, like, making a video about their video, showing their video. But, you know, DMCA. I, I have no idea how any of this works. Imagine being a copyright lawyer like that. I honestly feel like all they do is... It's like that South Park episode where they just... I don't know, cut a chicken's head off and find out where it dies on a board. That's how they make their laws. Oh, well. <clears throat> yeah, I'm so salty I could see some popcorn right now. Yeah. Speaking of popcorn, we could go back and watch old commercials. No, I get in trouble for that, too. Can't do anything. Can you get a link to Twitch? Yes. If you'd like to follow on Twitch, type exclamation point Twitch in the YouTube chat or check down below in the description. Link should be there. Just click or tap that. Boom. Locked in. <clears throat> anyway, thanks for putting up with me, chat. All right. So we got... Uh, what, do, what do we got more to do? I don't think they're buying yogurt very quick. There's so much... Dude, it, honestly, the strategy in this game is very much how much can you fit on a shelf and then you allocate that much more shelf space. Like if we did two shelves of yogurt we probably wouldn't have to fill that up for like two three runs what do i think of ed sheeran's case uh, it's a very nice case um po polymer and carbon alloy uh, carbon fiber all, all good in there yeah great hope it lasts them a long time hope it's not too heavy but durable at the same time Ah, uh, <clears throat> man, I never had so much fun, though, watching stuff with you guys. Man, I, that just proves we could never do, like, a... I, I would love to just watch old commercials with you guys and react to them, but not meant to be. Wait a minute. Do you think I would get DMCA'd by Ryan Reynolds for watching Mint Mobile ads? And then... Oh, my God. Imagine that. YouTube shuts me down. We're, we're watching... This is what's going to happen. We're going to unlock the Mint Mobile stream. I'm going to be streaming uh, Mint Mobile ads. We're going to get shut down. I'm going to stop playing them. YouTube will let me start streaming again. And as everyone rejoins the stream, you all get a Mint Mobile ad. Lovely. That's exactly how it would work. Hey, man, you're not the one who's allowed to show ads. We do that, pal. Don't let it happen again. Goddamn mob. It's the damn mafia. These people. There's a whole channel on Pluto dedicated to Supermarket Sweep. Excellent. Uh, Ninja, uh, NJM Mama, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much all the people who came over to the Twitch channel, too. Got like 100 people watching on Twitch. Welcome, everybody. Put in your favorite emotes. Oh, you were getting a YouTube ad every... Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't really control the ads too much. A lot of it has to do with, like, when did you get your last ad, how many how many shorts and stuff you were watching. Like, it's all kind of based on you. Because they don't want you to watch for too long without getting an ad, you know? But, yeah, there's there's too many ads. Too many. There should be a few, but there's just like two times too many. 
<clears throat> do I use TikTok? No, I you know I was behind on coming to Instagram. I felt in Twitter when I joined. And I feel the same way to TikTok. What's hilarious about TikTok is I, if I probably made one, I'd probably be the most popular guy on there and hate it the whole time. Like, that's what would happen. Like, I don't really want anything to do with it because I'm already doing stuff elsewhere. I felt that about Twitch, too. But something weird would probably happen to TikTok where I, that Supermarket Sweet video we just watched is going to go live. Wait a minute. This brings up an interesting question. Chat. A few days ago... Somebody came onto the stream and said they liked watching me on TikTok. Is anybody restreaming or putting any of this stuff? Oh, rever oh, we could play uh, DMCA Uno Reverse. If I watch a supermarket sweep uh, video from like 30 years ago, we get instantly clapped. I guarantee you my stuff is probably on there and if I made a DMCA complaint it takes six months to take it down and in that time 80 more channels would be made in that time guaranteed hey my uh my rights are, as a creator are being uh, violated oh it's just you oh nothing we can do I am uh, from Viacom one of our videos right away Mr. Viacom how can we get it done tactical nuke inbound we're gonna nuke the block that the computer was on we've, tra we've traced the call Choppers are inbound. Anyway, am I on there? Am I on TikTok? I'm gonna go look. Now I'm feeling self-conscious and robbed. Guaranteed. I, I guarantee I'm on there. It's gotta be. I know there's some funny montages with me in it, and I, I don't really care, actually. Some people have made some montages with me in there. <laughs> And they didn't ask my permission, and then I was like, yeah, I don't care. As long as it's done to just be funny and have fun, that's okay. Nothing malicious. Nobody, I don't want malice. I just want everybody to have a good time, man. No <laughs> rap talk, yeah. Wow, thanks for all the Twitch follows, everybody. Holy crap. Cool. Well, we're looking pretty good. Um, should we open? There's a few things missing here and there, but it's not crazy. Ah, we need more milk. No, I can't take out any more loans at the moment. I gotta pay back the one we got. We took out some big old loans to buy what we got now. So yeah, now we, we gotta make a lot more money. Yeah, if you don't use Twitch often, you can still follow. It's okay. No harm done. What's up, Deep EXP? Nah, bruh. You don't see me on TikTok? Oh, good. Well, that's good. Maybe one day. I was in a video once, though, that one of my favorites. It was called, like, Perfect perfect Timing or something like that, or Perfect Karma or something like that. I don't want to say what happened because uh, I'd rather find the video and show you all. Okay, I think we're ready to open. Bing boom. UHT milk, yeah. Maybe it was the UHT milk people. Who knows?
Beep, beep. All right, let's stand by. Uh, Raptor, do you know about something shopping fee or is it so low you don't care? A what now? The little YouTube heart blocks some of the chat sometimes, even for me. Fixing the light? Um, oh yeah. <laughs> now I'm up here to have a bird's eye view of the action. Oh, do I know about the shipping fee or is it so low you don't care? Oh, 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 you mean from buying products? Like here? No, it's free. So we can just, we can buy stuff all day long. I want to see them do different things for the shipping. It would be cool in the future is if we actually get some sort of a van or something and can drive and load up products and then eventually get like a delivery or something. That'd be kind of cool. But yeah, shipping is in, in, instant in this game and doesn't cost anything. Nice. Very nice. It's not free? I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever been charged. Oh, you're right. There is a shipping fee. Oh. I guess I don't care. I didn't even know it was there. I learned something today. Um. Oh, for each thing that you order, it's two or four bucks. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I guess if you can't really avoid the fee, let me see here. Two dollars. Four dollars. Eight dollars. I guess there is a little bit of a discount because every other thing you buy doesn't seem to get a charge to it. I don't know. Yeah, I like how uh, Big Ambitions works too. We'll, we'll have to go back to that one. That's a cool game. I want to check that out again this year. That was cool because you could have like a, an apartment and buy a car, then buy vans, then have multiple businesses and. The stocking system and that kind of look cool. chicken. Oh. Yeah, today we learned two very important lessons. Don't react to 90s game shows and uh, shipping fees.
Sugar and olive oil. Oh, it's kind of late now already. All right, we'll wait. Ah. I'm going to buy a new license. Well, I want to expand the store first. I think we first should expand, then we should buy new shelving, and then we buy the license. Because if I buy the license, I don't really have place... Um, I don't have enough room to put all the new products. Some of them, but not all. And then if I don't have them all on the shelves, people will get mad and be like, I can't find the thing that you said you have. I was going to do it in a different way. Hey, we just hit level 24. Let's go. Big ambitions changed a lot. You can now open a club, fitness center, and other services. No way. What? Oh, hell. I, w I would check that out. Well, is, there, is there a new trailer for Big Ambitions or anything to show the new stuff? This game's cool because it's like, um, it's very much like this game in a way. It's Well, that's a good trailer and all, but that doesn't really show. Is there any new trailers for it? Like, show me the hey new stuff. Kid, how's the subway, huh? <laughs> Welcome to my city. Come on, get in. Oh, this seems new. Ah, uh, New York. <laughs> I'm so glad you're finally here. Look, let me show you around the place and uh, and let you know how it all began. You see that building? That's where I started my first business, the gift shop. I rented my very first apartment nearby. It was small, but I made it home. After that, I started my fast food restaurant. <laughs> it was an overnight success. And then it really started to speed up. We expanded like crazy. We built headquarters. We bought warehouses. We hired staff. Soon, I was sitting back and watching the cash roll in. Oh but my god. What to do with it? It wasn't enough. I was bored without the hustle and the chase. I still felt I could go further. I realized I could stop renting office space, then I started buying whole buildings. I kept on investing my money, and my empire grew. Huh? Oh, sorry, kid. Got carried away. So look. You need help starting a small business? Great. We got no time to wait. Big ambition. Interesting. Available March 10th on Steam Early Access. I found something on TikTok. Seems like a scam. DM'd you the link. Probably something to do with bears. I'm not checking that. All right. Yeah, this game's cool as hell. So if you like this game, Supermarket Simulator, this one's kind of the same thing, but top down. You, like, you literally have to drive to factories, drive forklifts, and load up your van or SUV with stuff. That's cool. I, I'm surprised they don't have a, like an update video. It's been about a, a year since this game's been out. Like ten, almost ten thousand positive reviews. Good. Hmm. All right. I also played Startup Company before too, from the same makers. Good game. All right. We'll uh, we'll check that out again in the future. That game's cool. Beep 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 beep. I don't even know. Startup company's fun, yeah. There's another good factory game out there that's multiplayer that I want to play with Lumberjack and everybody else called Good Company. We did a sponsored stream on it like two years ago, and I've been wanting to play ever since to play multiplayer. It's a game where you get to like, think of like, um, 
think of like startup company, but also like evil genius or like uh, two point campus, two point hospital with like how the factory lab works. Like you actually get to, you kind of like make a whole company and, and like have to worry about the workers and their well being and, and like break times. And it's all multiplayer and you get to build like the fla uh, factory f like floor space. And it's just got a lot of cool stuff going for it. And I've wanted to play it more. TP's running out. Ah, uh, we're good. It's the end of the day. I can't order anything until tomorrow morning. So I guess chat points out that in order to be more profitable, we should make sure we buy boxes of 10 at all times to maximize profit. Good idea, chat. Good. All right, let's end the day. Let's see what we made. 781 dollars I'd like more of a breakdown tell me how much shipping costs were all that kind of thing that looks like powdered sugar is on sale all right let's begin our day Bread, cereal, coffee, and tea. -hee. Wait, I think we actually have coffee here. No. Maybe two things of coffee? Coffee? Good enough to start, I think. Coffee, yeah. Need to get some coffee. Not buy. I, it's such a habit. Okay, we gotta, we gotta break the habit. Doesn't matter too much, but we gotta break the habit. Not a big deal. We gotta break the habit. No more one time. K cups. Yeah. shipping okay it wasn't wasn't that much Hmm. 
Okay, we need that on standby. More milk. Regular cartons. Okay, we'll leave the milk out in the sun so it can dry so it doesn't go bad. And then we need more stuff. Looks like we need ba'o wa'o. Cleaner. Sugar. Oil. Pizzas. P I Z Z A. Okay, here we go. Chill 110%. I'm glad we're reaching uh, pinnacle chill levels. That's good. And we need to be able to sell other stuff at the store, like charcoal, you know? Like briquettes and stuff. For people who want to do some grilling, brother. Cruise Ship Tycoon? That'd be cool. Yeah, if they made an update. Yeah, there was a mall game coming out, and I forgot what the name of that one was, but I wanted to build a mall. We need something like that to 80s mall sim would be great. leave the sugar out here to protect it from ants. We could have ants in the building. Go out here on the sidewalk should be fine. Pizza! Pizza De Niro, uh-oh. Gotta be a funny movie reference here. <laughs> this is Mafia. Mafia brand pizza, that's nice. Little Easter eggs everywhere, I guess, if you know where to look. I think we're good to go again, right? I mean, you know. Well, let's get the big bulk items, right? That we always run out with. Chicken and toilet paper. A staple. Like bread, e eggs, milk, and cheese. Whoa. All right, let's begin our day. And now we're gonna no more chill. We gotta we gotta find some new music to listen to. What else we got? What else we got? I need something different. Hmm. Give me. This one. Let's try that.
Mafia pizza, your belly will sleep with the fishes. Wait, is that what it says? Is that is that Italian? Hey, what's up, Frank? Welcome aboard, dude. Yeah, De Niro Pizza, yep. Yeah. Ma'am, don't touch any of our stuff. That's ours. Thank you. Here, we'll be out here watching them. That's just your interpretation. That'd be good if that's what I, if it translated to something funny like that. That's totally fine. I hope they did. I do want to make an economics game like this, you know. I'd have to work up to my ultimate game, which would be a uh, mom and pop ramen shop. There's also uh, remember chat. I think this year we're getting that really good new game called. Uh, Navalis, where you get to own your own ramen. Sh it's like a cyberpunk ramen shop, and you get to own and operate it. Plus, you get to like I think drive around a bit and uh, like go fishing and stuff. But it's based on the game called Cloudpunk, which it was amazing. Standing by. Play some death metal. I don't know if it would fit the uh, situation. Yeah, I thought the cars would push the boxes too, but luckily the uh, the cars just kind of clip through them, so we're okay. Product Patrol. More coffee. No, nope, good. All right, good.
low on cooking oil. Good. Business is booming. If you could eat anything out of that, what you sell in the store, what would it be? Uh, I could definitely go for that pizza right now. Yeah, these pizzas would be great. We need some more fries, too. Cleaning up. Looking good. Need to check prices. Uh, for the most part, everybody's um, seems to be pretty happy with them. We may be able to adjust things like. I don't know, 20 cents here or there, but we're pretty well leveled. And I do wish there was an easier way to check the prices. Like, now we have to go to every product and select it and go to a, a thing that tells us what the uh, current va market value is. It's, it, I wish we could just do it from a computer. I wish. It would make this business a little easier. Nah, there's no tracking system. You just gotta kinda remember. Buy a bunch of taters. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's end the day and then we'll uh, get some new shipments shipped in, locked in. Alright, what do we got? 32 customers, 12 products found expensive. Alright, yeah, you're right. We'll have to balance those out then. For sure. 12 is not too bad, but it's getting to the time where we got to change. But we made uh, about a thousand bucks. How much money is left on the loan? Uh, let's see. Oh, we're only 900 bucks into debt. We could pay off the rest of our loan. 
Nice. Okay, so when we get to 4,000, we can buy a... Uh, or we could just take out another loan. Yeah, let's take out another loan. And let's expand the store. We'll pay all of our bills. And we'll buy this uh, expansion for... 4,400. Hey, look at that. Cool. Fit that in. All right, looks good. Now we got a little, little bit more space for the uh, freezers and stuff. So we can put them all together, right? Okay, so now we got bottle wall. Hmm. I could put that there. Still crowded, but better than it was, and good for now. So now, chat, now we got to buy a license for new stuff. So what do we buy to put on these shelves? What should we get? What do you guys think? We can buy the three on the top. So we can buy... Uh, let's see, there's like cheese. Um, brown sugar. Tuna, honey. Oh, it looks like sushi. There's a whole sushi. Eye. Oh, yeah. No, nothing like supermarket uh, sushi. Oh, yeah. Vicky tried to buy that. Got over that 1K. Invested that 5,000. Cheese and ketchup. Liquor. Mm, wait, liquor. I don't know. Ah, uh, we can't get that one if it's on there. We'd also do more bottled water. I don't know, man. Well, actually, wait, look, steak. Boys, we could start selling steak and sushi. And salmon. I think we're going to go down that one. Plus, that means we could get more freezers. I'm going down that one. Salmon scallops, I think it said. I don't remember. All right. Well, let's squeeze these aisles together so we can make a frozen aisle. Yeah, we can sell fish and chip now. That's right. Just a chip. One. Come into the store, it's just like, oh, sorry, dude, we just sold out of our chip. All right, cool. Now, the problem, though, is we're very low on money. And we just took out a big old loan to buy the license and the space. But we can switch some of these freezers around a little bit. Like, people don't seem to be buying the frozen pizzas as much as they are the chickens. 
But we will need to buy another freezer. Uh, aren't they like 700 each? Uh oh. Uh, let's see. Oh, 400. Okay. Alright, we can do two. This, this is fine. Ignore this. This is... That's business as usual. That's fine. Okay. So, um, yeah. Wow. Let's buy some chicken. Chicken. buy the new stuff uh, steak mosuka what is that that goes in a fridge whatever that is oh, that's already too much money M move chicken what the hell? All right, I'm just going to save some money. We're broke again. Leave that. Okay. Yo, coolin'. Thanks for the the banana, dude. That gets us 250 for the uh, showcase showdown or whatever, dude. We're gonna get to go to Cancun. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, dude. Turlet paper. Got some more turlet paper. Osaka's Greek course minced meat tomato sauce. Sliced potatoes with white sauce, cheese on top. Very good. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. Oh, I can see why it's so expensive. I would be down with that. <laughs> Thank you for enlightening me, my man. I did not know that I loved it, that thing. Oh, look at those steaks, baby. Look at that. Let's see if we can put this box down somewhere and take a look. We should be able to stack this up. I want to take a close look at the packaging. Yeah, that's fine. Cooling with a dollar forty-nine. Thank you very much, dude. Oh, this has to be kept in a fridge. Yeah, okay. 
Well, then we need a refrigerated section for uh, beef. Uh, we'll put it here for now. Oh, those can stack up quite nicely. Chat, remind me, we need to set prices, but not before we start. We're going to get everything set up, then we'll set prices. But you got to remind me. Okay, so this should definitely be for dairy and like milk, eggs, and cheese, and any dairy products eventually. And then we can put juice here and soda like we got it. But then we got to put we got to put some uh, refrigerators in for the back back wall. And I think we'll keep this here for now. Eventually, I want to move this somewhere else. Um. What else did we buy? More chicken. I guess we could just put it in these freezers for now. Akula now with a peach. Thank you, dude, for the, the dollar forty nines left and right, man. Guy's out of control. More chicken. All right, we're going to be selling a lot of chicken. We may as well use this. Uh, we'll just try to sell everything, get enough money to then... Uh, I mean, we could take out another loan, but I don't want to be that crazy in debt. But our goal is to try to now get enough money to buy those refrigerators, set up the steak and sushi and other stuff, now that we have the license for it. So you can see just how expensive all this stuff is. Like, you know, everybody always wants us to expand, but man, it takes money for that expansion, money for the license, money for the shelves. And it's not just shelves. Sometimes we've got to buy freezers. But hopefully this will this will be a big payoff. Big. Big. Can you put the computer outside? That is a damn good question. I think the answer is probably no. That would be hilarious. Alright, and then just toilet paper, more chicken, chicken. buy some of that. Yeah, we'll do it while they're while we're open. Oh. Oh wait, okay. All right. Ch oh, chat, I forgot the set prices. I'm doing it. 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 Whoa, 1304 for steak? Whoa. Uh, let's do 1310. What else we got to set prices for? I think all we bought was steak, right? That's the only thing we could the new thing that we could afford. And I gotta do prices in general. Let's do prices in general. Market price five seventy one for cereal. Let's do five seventy five. Uh, six eight eight. Wow, eight ninety four. Okay, that's fine. Five twenty two. Okay, that's fine. Three ninety two for four. Fine. Oh. Eight bucks for uh, for coffee. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, that's fine. White pasta at six oh five. We'll do uh, we'll do six ten. Snacky cakes. 
Dollar fifty. That's fine. Devil water. Man, they're buying that like crazy at thirteen bucks. I'm gonna leave that where it is. I mean, that's always sold out. Fine. That's fine. Five dollars. I'll sell that for five dollars. Peanut butter route. Six forty-eight. Selling it for six fifty. That's fine. One seventy-four. We'll do two dollars. Is that two fifty four? Two sixty. Two fifty. Uh two sixty. Milk at two seventy five. Close enough. Uh, I'm gonna keep yogurt where it is. I think we just checked. We'll do uh, four dollars for that. Does that say five fifty two? I'll do five forty. Seventeen? Oh my god. Nineteen fifty will do twenty bucks. Six ten. Yo, Megapode. Thank you very much for ten gifted five, sorry, five gifted memberships for chat. Thank you very much for the uh, big O support. Welcome back to the streams. Let's go. Hope all is well. Exclamation point gift in the YouTube chat too, by the way. Six bucks for pizza. Right, I, think, I think that was all the products, right? Taters. Oh boy, we need to order so much. All right, let's order a bunch of juice to begin with. Let's go. You love the devil water? Yeah, the the UHT milk, this devil water. Belgians are like, "Oh dude, come over and like have our UHT milk, dude. It's the best." It's like, "Nice try, Belgium." An act of war. Give me to drink that sin juice. Locked in. Oh. 
You thought the bird sounds for, were from you? They from the game. Damn, they bought some chicken. How'd the steaks go? A few people bought steaks. So much going on with this one. Oh, we gotta buy more lights too for the corner. much going on. It's good. Alright. On good track to sell that. Products not found. 23. Yep, we're getting on that. Oh good. Products found expensive. 5. So that's much better than we thought. Ooh, big money losses with those loans. How many expansions can you get? Oh, I don't know, actually. Good question. I'm imagining we could probably buy like even more than this. I'm, I'm pretty sure we can go a lot more than this. Seems like it goes on for a while. Well, let's start with the uh, steak. No, should we get the freezers? No. What we should do is use up all the space we already got. That's what we should do. cereal and the milk oh damn this looks like lasagna
Has to go in a refrigerator. All right, that stacks nicely. You want some otter pops? The hell? What is that? How many licenses and expansion will we buy each stream? I don't know. I mean, I guess it depends on our money. Like, we seem to be getting more and more cash, but everything seems to be getting more and more expensive as we upgrade, so it's kind of kept us at, at a good pace. Make money, buy, take out a loan, pay the entrance, do it again. Looks like steak can really stack for a lot. cash. Ah, but maybe we should pay bills. Especially that loan payment. Ugh. Alright. Wait, wait, wait. We got a new product, new product, new product. Wow, this stuff sells for like 15 bucks? Damn. Yo, Thunder Chicken, thank you very much for 21 months. I, re I would definitely shop there if you were nearby. Well, thank you. Welcome to Member Mart. All the members coming in right now. Welcome to all the members. Bum, bum. Oh, it begins. We're going to put refrigerators all across here. Oh. Bleach. I don't have cash. Wait a little bit. Icy pops? Oh, okay. That's what otter otter pops are. I see. I otter otter know that. As we continue to expand our store, we keep moving stuff around. So, like, where we have things now is not... I mean, where we set it up now ain't final, and next ain't final. It's just a constant evolution based on limited space. We're doing our best.
Looking good. Oof. Shampoo. Potato. Locked in. Supermarket sweep. You want me to come and uh, come back to this game and do a, an expendo run, or we make it really expensive? Well, I don't know. We'd have to experiment to see. I'd love to come back to this game. Every update. I mean, we're not even done now. We got a lot more to, a lot more to see, a lot more to play. I don't know. Like aside from refrigerators, freezers, and shelves, what else they could add to make it more interesting for stuff we have to sell? Those can, of course, cover a lot of stuff. Like you can put a lot of stuff. In refrigerators and freezers. Maybe we can expand one more time and put additional registers down. We can have up to four, that's gonna be our maximum. So maybe we could pull the pull those shelves out of there and add one more thing. I wish we could expand this way over to the left, but creation of a super fran yeah, super ultra mega deluxe franchise with cheese. Mega. Got another person still buying stuff? Man. Yeah, that's true. 
Game is missing produce. That's right. Yeah, the, the boxes to store things like big old things of potatoes and tomatoes so people can kind of pick and choose. Yeah. Well, I mean, the game could definitely get there at a certain point for sure. Absolutely. Well, another good day. Um, let's end it and figure out what we got. 25 products not found. <laughs> we need to add more. Okay, so let's try to buy more new stuff that we got. It probably sells for a lot more, so all the new stuff probably will get us more money. We got veal, sushi, small and large, scallop, salmon. Those are what we don't have yet. Wow, that already cost 700 bucks. Wow. Gotta be refrigerated. Chad, we gotta set prices. Remember, we gotta set prices. Gonna be struggling with money for a while and stocking everything too. What is this? Oh, is that the Pripyat? Some sort of French thing. The hell? Fondue. I can't even. I don't know. Some sort of fondue. On, don't. Damn, that stacks nicely. Whoa, there's a lot in there. We'll set prices, stand by. What? Oh. That's the veal. I'll uh, put that there for now.
Pear and apple tarts. I mean, ooh, Norway. Norwegian salmon. Norway, dude. Wow. money for more. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna open. Alright, do we set prices? We gotta set prices. Next to the fries? I don't have boxes to move some things around too. Alright, let's set prices. Price check. Wow, $21 for that. Wow. $25.49, jeez. Wow. What about this? Oh, it's three fifty seven. That seems really fancy for three fifty seven. I'll go three sixty. Is that yeah? We'll go three sixty. Open. Yeah, we're missing a lot of stuff. Salt. Oh. Upgrading. Taking out a big ass loan and upgrading. It, it's so hard because <laughs> then you lack on all the other stuff. All the stuff that you want stocked all the time. Hitting a number and sustaining it in this game is easy and good, but being able to continuously maintain and sustaining growth is hard. It's a hard thing. Okay, we can get the salmon in there. I hope it has to be frozen. Nope. There's so much we need. Peanut butter. We just need more money. 357 Magnum P.I. You guys want to go watch an episode? No. What's up, Todd? How's it going? <laughs> Come on down. You're the next contestant on The Price is Set. Well, thank you. sodas again too the problem is we need to uh, save a bunch of money we've got to at least have 500 bucks in the bank for that uh, uh, well we need about maybe 650 for the wages and for the loan with that mo that money we can't touch that's already used A lot of this stuff requires the fridge. I 
Right, I'm going to try to buy one now. I'm going to buy two. Ah, damn. More expensive than I thought. bucks for that. Okay, we gotta try to make as much money as we can before nine. buried and work. Okay, good. Money's looking a little better. Man, this corner's always dark. Man, now we need all this money just to pay for the basics again. Like, we gotta have, you know, like three boxes of flour ready to go, three boxes of oil to go like we need all these products but we can't touch this money these people need to stop buying the uh, milk and cheese and start stepping up to the good stuff the veal and uh, the jumbo uh, sushi oh, which by the way they wiped out okay all right so the sushi is a popular item They wipe that out. No, the storage area is no go. It, it's just not pro. It's just not. It doesn't work properly at the moment. Since we can't store things in the boxes, we have to put them on the shelves. You may as well put them here. We got this. We're good. Just need to keep grinding till the money comes in. Pay back the loan again and then buy all the products that we need. We can do this. This is what happens when you upgrade though. It's like everything works fine and we have all the money and then you know when the shop's working good, chat's like, dude, you need to upgrade, upgrade, dude, upgrade, dude, dude you need to upgrade. And then we don't have money because we upgraded and that's dude, you need, you need. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a cycle, it's how it always goes. You make money, 
So then you want to make more money, so you expand. That expansion costs money. Then you have nothing. Then you make some money. Man, it's just kind of how it goes. It's just a cycle. You gotta spend money to make money. And that's what make, uh, makes these games fun. Is being bankrupt. <laughs> Lol. And just getting all these empty boxes out. Yeah, that's what makes it real, yeah. Farming sims like that, too. You have no money, you grind, 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 then you get some money. You still have no money. But then you buy, you know, then you take out a loan and buy a tractor, and then you start to make a little bit more money, but then you have a $2 million tractor to pay off. Which is way less than what it is in real life. It's fun. It's fun. Like, you gotta plan for all that stuff. Man, we got a mess. Has anyone bought chicken lately? Um, yeah, it looks like they bought quite a bit. I think when we're done, we'll probably make these two chicken. And then... Yeah, we'll have one for fries, one for pizzas, one for something else. These two for chicken and then something over there. But well, we need more refrigerators. And I guess... We can put these in there. soda oh boy hey how we do with the milk all right good no we're not gonna buy the storage area it's just burning a thousand dollars we're gonna store things on the floor and we're gonna try to put things on the shelf. We're not gonna we're not gonna bother with storage until they update it. When the game gets updated, we'll go for storage. We'll check out storage when when we uh, get a big O update. If the customers aren't gonna complain, it's all good. We got it. Alright, let's save. And call it a day. All right, everybody, that is all for our wonderful um, Supermarket Simulator playthrough for today. We'll be back very soon for more, and we'll uh, maybe be streaming this tomorrow morning, because tomorrow I have a big announcement. Tomorrow morning is going to be a short stream, and probably the last one for a little while. Something big's going to happen, but I'll tell you all about that tomorrow. Big things are happening. Big. All right. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good night. Enjoy the suspense. Bye.